Hello, my beautiful diamonds. Today is Sunday and I just listened to the most incredible sermon by Joyce Myers and it was just so uplifting and it was speaking and talking about worry and anxiety. You know, you have a lot of people who say that they can't stop worrying. They're just a worrier and they just can't help themselves. But if the Bible tells us not to do something, then there is a way not to do it. The Bible is always telling us not to worry. One thing we have, if we're not going, one thing we have to do, better yet, this is what I was learning from Joyce. One thing we have to do if we're not going to worry, if we have is we have to have a strong belief in the power of prayer. See, that's the key. Now, when you pray, you are giving God the problem. If you're giving it to God, then you can't keep it and you can't keep holding on to it. Once you give it to God, you are saying, I'm trusting you to do something about this. Look at Colossians chapter 3, verse 15, John chapter 14, verse 27, 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 9, and Philippians chapter 4, verse 6 through 7. I know for myself, my biggest goal each day is to get through each day peacefully. Now, the more you mature, that's the more you grow to have an appreciation for peacefulness rather than drama. So if you don't have peace about something, like let's say you're getting ready to do something or you're getting ready to make a decision. And if you don't have peace about that, then don't do it. Or if you're already doing something and it's not bringing you peace, it's always best to just stop doing it. And that makes a lot, a lot of sense. One thing about peace, once you experience it and you get a taste of it and you are mature, you're going you're gonna to fight with everything that you have to hang on to that peace. Now you have a lot of people who don't like peace. What is the opposite of peace? Drama, chaos, something always popping off, jumping off. You're always in the middle of he said, she said, this is always drama. And the reason they don't like peace or don't want any part of it is because they feel that peace is boring, you know, but as you mature, because it's all about maturity, you're going to come to realize and appreciate greatly. You're going to have an attitude of nothing but gratitude and say, oh my goodness, now that I've gotten a taste of this, I will fight with everything that I have to hang on and to maintain this. So that's pretty much what I wanted to share with you this fine Sunday morning to give you a little bit of uh, spiritual food, hopefully to get you and carry you through the week to keep you strong. Remember, your heavenly father, your creator, he does not want you to worry. He does not want you filled with anxiety. And you have to keep in mind that if you're not going to worry, you have to have that strong belief in the power of prayer. And there you have it, my beautiful diamonds. Twinkle, twinkle, twinkle. I love you.